Hello friends, welcome to Standard 12 Class Physics. Today we are going to learn chapter number 3, Kinetic Theory of Gases and Radiation. As all of we will know the common state of a matter as solid, liquid, gases and the fourth temporary state, plasma state. Out of this, we have to study the property of gases. For this, we have to require some laws which we learn in 11th standard. The first law is Boyle's law. What Boyle says? Boyle says volume is inversely proportional to pressure at a constant temperature. It means that if we increase the volume, the pressure of the gas molecule become decreases. And if we decrease the volume, the pressure of the gas molecule become increases. To understand this, if we take a container containing n number of a gas molecule, as they are a gas molecule, they move randomly inside this container. And when they move randomly inside this container, they collide with each other as well as wall of the container. And when they collide with the wall of container, they apply the pressure on the wall of container. Now, if we uh, now to maintain the temperature of this uh, container constant, we slowly increase the volume of this container. And as we slowly increase the volume of this container, uh, the number of gas molecule inside this uh, container get a large space and therefore the rate of collision of this gas molecule with each other as well as wall of the container become decreases and therefore the pressure on the wall of container become decreases. It means that if we increase the volume of container the pressure of the gas molecule become decreases and if we decrease the volume of this container the pressure of the gas molecule become increases and in this way we say that uh, we prove the Boyle's law. Now come to the second law, Gay-Lussac's law. What Gay-Lussac says? Gay-Lussac says that pressure is directly proportional to temperature at constant volume. Uh, at constant volume. For this, we take an example. If we take two containers having the same volume and containing same number of a gas molecule at same temperature. Now, if we increase the temperature of the second container, then the gas molecule get the energy. After gaining the energy, their velocity becomes changed. As the velocity of gas molecule changes, their rate of collision with the wall of container becomes increases. And therefore, the pressure applied by this gas molecule becomes increases. And therefore, we can say that if we increase the temperature, the pressure of the gas molecule becomes also changed. And as their momentum change, the pressure on the wall of this container become change and therefore we can say that pressure is directly proportional to temperature what happen here as we increasing the temperature the pressure on the wall of this container become increases and in this way the gay lussac law is true now third one come to the third law charles law what charles say charles says that volume is directly proportional to temperature at constant pressure. Now friends, as we learn in Gay-Lussac's law, both the container having the same volume and increasing the temperature, what happens? As we start to increase the temperature, pressure of this uh, air pressure on the wall of this container, it becomes increases. And as this increasing pressure, to maintain this pressure, whatever we have to do, we have to do, change the volume of this container proportional to the temperature. Now to maintaining this pressure, as we increasing the temperature to maintain the pressure of this gas molecule, we have to also increase the volume of this container. As they get, as we increase the volume of container, the uh, molecule inside this container get a lot of space and therefore rate of collision become maintained and in this way we can say that volume is directly proportional to temperature at a constant pressure. Now friends, combining these three laws combining three these, uh, these three law to getting the ideal gas equation this is also we learn in 11 standard what you the uh, two combination of this the first law is what Boyle's law volume is directly proportional to pressure second pressure uh, according to gay lussac's law pressure is directly proportional to temperature and the third one is volume is directly proportional to temperature same the way we also learn the Avogadro law where we learn that volume is directly proportional to n, where n is the number of moles of gas. Combining all of these equations, we get 
an equation as P into V is directly proportional to Vn into T, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, which is directly proportional to Vn number of moles of molecule and T be the temperature. Now, changing this proportional sign by equal to sign, we have to require a proportionality constant. Here, we take the proportionality constant as R and we get the equation PV is equal to N into R into T, where R is the universal gas constant. And the value of this universal Now, combining these three law as first law, volume is inversely proportional to pressure. Second, pressure is directly proportional to temperature. And the third one, volume is directly proportional to temperature. Same the way, we have the one law which we call as Avogadro law. Volume is directly proportional to N mole of a gas. Now combining this law, we get PV is directly proportional to N into T, where P is the pressure, V is the volume. It is directly proportional to N with the number of moles of a gas and T with the temperature. Now changing this proportional sign by equal to sign, we have to require some proportionality constant. Therefore, here we get a proportionality constant as R. Now we get an equation PV is equal to N into R into T where R is the proportionality constant and it is known as universal gas constant which having the volume uh, which having the value 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin. Now friends as we know that or as we learn in a uh, as we learn in a chemistry uh, number of moles n is equal to n upon n a where n is the number of molecules and n a be the Avogadro number. Putting this value in the equation first we get PV is equal to n into r into t upon n a. Rearranging this term we get n into t into r upon n a where r upon n a is the Boltzmann constant. And this Boltzmann constant, it is denoted by term Kb. Putting this term here, we get the new equation as P into V is equal to N into Kb into T. And friends, in this way, we get a, another uh, ideal gas equation as PV is equal to N into Kb 